rating every anime and movie that came out in 2023 in less than five minutes. We started the year off strong with the Mario movie that had probably one of the best marketing eras for an anime and movie since Shrek. Illumination might sometimes suck, but God do they know how to make a movie successful. I will never forget the day the first teaser came out and the reactions. I will be telling my grandkids in 50 years. However, the movie's pacing was like drinking soda with a side of Skittles. There could have been way more Luigi, but Bowser was adorable and I'm glad this movie exists just because it allowed for more Jack Black silly moments. 7 out of 10. Elemental. This was the first Pixar movie to come back in theaters after like 3 to 4 years. Lightyear doesn't exist, do not correct me in the comments. As always, Pixar makes me crave the animated trees. I really like that Pixar had their own Mina character, which is Claude, who everybody wanted to kill. Pixar and Disney are kind of the opposite to Illumination now when it comes to marketing. The extent of the marketing for Elemental are these two screenshots. It's crazy how quickly marketing for movies changed since 2019 and TikTok. Everything pretty much is in the hands of word of mouth now which is kind of cool but also scary for movie performance animated studios now have to rely on teenagers randomly deciding to dress up in suits for a movie although elemental had a hard time coming up it did kind of succeed i do kind of miss when pixar movies had an actual goal or specific plot in mind however i still cried at the end and they made up for it with the metaphor and the message and i think that means it's a pixar movie 7.5 out of 10 across the spider verse oh my my god, where would society be if this movie didn't come out last year? The pacing in this movie was perfect, it took everything we loved from the first one and times it by 100, which is rare for a sequel. They managed to bring in almost better characters than the first one, there was a Lego scene made by a 14 year old, and this movie brought back Tumblr fan art in full force. But every few months we get new details about the production, and how half of this movie was made during like the final months, and then you start to wonder how they even got this movie out at all, and how much of a miracle it is that this movie turned out good. Also, for the first few days in cinema, you could barely hear the dialogue because the music was so loud that they actually put a new version into cinemas. 10 out of 10. Next, we got Nimona, which is based off the graphic novel that was originally going to be a Blue Sky movie, and after they shut down, everybody assumed it would never be seen again because that's how cancelled anime and movies work nowadays. But Nimona actually survived it. Too bad me and my shadow didn't. This movie was such a surprise. In my opinion, Nimona is up there with Across the Spider-Verse and being one of the few anime and movies recently to have a very story and lore focused plot. That's probably a reach, but I don't care. Every line that came out of Ballister's and Nimona's mouth gave me chills. The voice acting delivery was perfect. That being said, the downside of this movie being for Netflix and not for theaters is the fact that some of the visuals and backgrounds look like they were made in Blender after two months of learning Blender. Some of it is so bare, but this was all saved by the perfect ending. They put all the budget into this scene. Wow. 8 out of 10. Ruby Gilman, Teenage Kraken. I zoned out in the first 10 minutes when the character whipped out a phone. The movie is so in your face, but nothing actually hits. Every character looks like it was made to be McDonald's toys. I really thought this was going to be a beautiful coming of age story, a turning red, relatable, quirky movie. And I got a movie where it genuinely thinks this girl putting on a hoodie makes her not look like a Kraken to the other characters. She is blue. Try harder! 1 out of 10. Actually, 3 out of 10 because I feel really bad. I'm sorry, I love the Gilman family. Mutant Mayhem! The movie that single-handedly brought back the light in TMNT blockbuster movies. I'm so glad they finally chose to make them animated instead of, you know, what we got a couple years back. Oh my god. The casting in this movie was so good. We had Nicholas Cantu Gumball as Leonardo. Perfect. Jackie Chan as Splinter, which is the second time he has voiced a character that was a ninja mentor. And although I was furious that Shredder and Casey Jones weren't in the movie, they made up for it with Ice Cube as Superfly. And Mr. Beast and Post Malone show up too. The animation was crazy. The turtles say Sus, Riz, and mention Adele in the first act and I knew this was cinema gold. 8.5 out of 10. I did not watch Leo starring the one and only Adam Sandler, but I've seen enough TikTok clips to say I watched the whole movie. And honestly, the clips were addicting. There's something so emotional to me about an old class pet and screaming children that look straight out of a mobile game ad. 10 out of 10. Wish, there's not much to say. Uh, there's not one singular memorable song. We all owe Lin-Manuel Miranda an apology. Some of the animation looks unfinished and Disney 
is desperately trying to save themselves with the announcement that they will be turning the Moana Disney Plus series into a movie and releasing it in the winter. They are sinking and it's all thanks to Ralph Breaks the Internet. Wish is such a step down for Disney that it kind of makes you forget that they released Encanto not too long ago. And lastly, Migration. I really liked it. Uh, it was simple, it was sweet, the family comedy worked really well, and it felt like something Illumination wasn't forcing you to laugh at. Aquafina is in it a little bit too much, but other than that, 6 out of 10. Okay, I was kind of lying when I said every anime and movie because I haven't seen Trolls 3, The Boy and the Heron, Paw Patrol 2, and Dawn of the Nugget yet, and I probably missed more. Uh, feel free to give your ratings for those movies if you've seen them. I will try and watch them immediately. <laughs>